I'm low key faded, bro. Are you? Oh no, I I didn't even end my stream yet. The Dallas Cowboys, most known as America's team, but more recently as the most mediocre team in the NFL. But I have a feeling that things are going to change soon for the Cowboys. There are five key reasons as to why I think the Cowboys are going to be legitimate contenders for the Super Bowl. The first of which being just sheer talent. The Cowboys have a great quarterback, well, in my opinion, in Dak Prescott, an amazing running back duo with Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard, two good wide receivers in Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup, a pretty good offensive line, and a pretty solid defense that has improved a lot over the years. As we saw last year, Dallas won eight games, which isn't bad, but they could have won a lot more. Which leads me into my next topic, coaching. Mike McCarthy, I think, is the answer for the Dallas Cowboys. Jason Garrett, as much as his clapping helped the Cowboys win games, it just wasn't enough. Although Mike McCarthy butted heads with Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay, I think he will work perfectly with Dak Prescott in this offense. Kellen Moore, their offensive coordinator, will also help a lot. He has been there for a year or two. He was an NFL quarterback. I think he'll be just fine. Their defensive coordinator, Mike Nolan, has been coaching since 1981. He's a new guy for Dallas, but I think he'll fit in. He's been the coach of some pretty good defenses, so I think they'll be fine in that aspect. So next topic is division. The Redskins, they're building. They might be good here in like five years, maybe a little bit less if they get lucky, if Chase Young is the answer, because that defensive line is going to be amazing. Uh, but I don't see it anytime soon. Uh, the Giants, if Daniel Jones is the answer, and maybe they get a couple de defensive pieces, and maybe a, a good offensive line, maybe a chance. And then the Eagles, the Eagles should do good, but you never know with them. I think the da Dallas Cowboys can handle all of those teams, but we'll have to see. Um, strength of schedule. Strength of schedule, the Cowboys have the third easiest schedule in the league. That is huge. They can glide through the regular season, hopefully. Maybe win 12 games, 11 games, hopefully. And if they can win 12 games, first round by, maybe. Might have to deal with the Saints and the 49ers, but I think they can get there. And if they get a first round by, that'll be huge. They can just bypass the wild card round and prep for whoever they have to play. And I think that motivation and the support, because Cowboys fans are always going to be supportive of, the, of the Dallas no matter what. And they have a lot of motivation coming into this season. They've dealt with a lot of mediocrity and just poor play. And they have a new coach now. And now's their time to shine. I really think they should take advantage of this situation. And I hope they do. Uh, so... This is their year to win the Super Bowl, or at least get darn close to it. So, yeah. Now, one other thing I want to talk about is Jamal Adams. If Jamal Adams does end up going to Dallas, then he needs the Dallas Cowboys need to be put on the watch list. Like they need to be on high alert. Find your stations, red alert, red alert, take cover. Because that would be scary to see the Dallas Cowboys defense with Demarcus Lawrence and a great linebacker core, and that's pretty much it. But if you add Jamal Adams, and, the, and they have an okay secondary, then, I mean, that would be scary to see because nobody wants the Cowboys to be good. But uh, I think, sadly, that might be the case. They might be, they should be pretty good this year. If they aren't, I wouldn't be surprised. It's the Dallas Cowboys. You never know with them. But I think, honestly, I think the problem is just chemistry. They need, to, they need to play together for a few years, and that's exactly what they've done. They have not added many new people, so their chemistry should just keep on building and building positively. And they got rid of Jason Garrett, which I think um, is a huge problem. He's now on the Giants, which is funny. 
Um, so yeah, I think this is their year. The Dallas Cowboys should dominate. Uh, but they do have to deal with the Chiefs and possibly the Super Bowl and the Ravens. And then the 49ers and the Saints and the Buccaneers if they even pan out. They have a lot of opponents and a lot of challengers. So it, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But this is their Super Bowl to lose. They're very young, so if things don't pan out, they've got next year and, and the year after, and maybe even the year after. But, yeah, uh, just hopefully Dak gets paid or else the Cowboys have no quarterback. But if he sits out, another alternate storyline could be Andy Dalton coming in and winning the Super Bowl. I That's what I want to see. If you have any thoughts, questions, opinions, other video ideas possibly, drop them in the comments below. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Maybe consider subscribing. It's free. If you want to change your mind, you can just unsubscribe at any time, but it'd be much appreciated. Thank you guys. Peace out.